Hello and uh, welcome to the April 2017 instalment of 5 Minutes with Fred. Uh, just to update you on the latest movements within C Swoop. Uh, this, this really follows on from our commitment to ensure that, uh, that we're communicating as well as we can across the group. Um, you would have seen uh, in the last week or two a, a new e-newsletter e come out. Um, which would be updated on our website as well as mailed out to uh, our customers and employees. Um, that's that's really leading on uh, from our commitment to make sure that you're you're fully connected and you understand exactly what's going on in the company at any point in time. So, my undertaking is to continue this monthly. Um, so this is the first of, of that renewed push, if you like. Um, earlier this year, we uh, so a couple of things to update you on. Earlier this year, we uh, undertook a cultural survey for our employees. Uh, we had a really good um, strike rate with that, and, and a lot of our employees gave us feedback on what it is it meant uh, to them to be engaged with C Swift and employed by C Swift, and and the values that they really upheld and and um, you know really wanted to stand for in the company. Um, so as a result of that. Uh, we really renewed our vision and values um, and, and the key values that came through very clearly um, were around teamwork and customer service. Um, commitment was a close third and then accountability uh, was actually something that a lot of people were, were actually looking for and ensuring that, that people were being held to account for you know, our service levels and what it was that we actually meant to the remote communities that, that uh, we looked after and we serviced. So um, what you'll see is a lot of that, uh, those values now starting to work through um, our reshaped vision um, and a lot of the um, actions that we actually take moving forward. Um, also earlier this year, uh, we had a, a, a depot move in Darwin. So we moved from our, uh, our original um, initial site in Darwin, which was the old Tiwi Barge site at Moramat Road. Um, and we moved into the old uh, Toll Perkins facility. Now that opportunity came about um, with, with um, really the, a sale falling through um, that Toll actually had that um, depot up for sale for. Uh, but with the Darwin economy um, not, not really firing too well um, in you know, late 2016, early 17, um, the opportunity uh, came up with that sale falling through for us to actually move into there. Uh, and it's something that we've taken up. And we've taken that up on the basis of um, having a better facility uh, that's got the requisite um, cargo consolidation areas and marine facilities, um, as well as the hard stand uh, that that depot's got. Now that is a temporary arrangement for us, so that'll be in place for the next uh, probably three or four years uh, while we identify the, the ideal place that we want to be in Darwin and, and we make the investment in that facility. Uh, the other thing that's happened in the last couple of months is the board has taken a decision um, based on things um, now starting to bed down uh, post the toll transaction um, and we're into a steadier run rate uh, to, to actually invest in some of the equipment that is um, that is in um, dire need of upgrade around our depots and our front line, forklifts in particular. Now um, what that's meant is that, that we've um, undertaken a process uh, with a number of different bidders uh, for that work. Um, we've decided to go with United Forklifts um, to really uh, upgrade about 24 of our forklift fleet, which represents about a quarter of our fleet. Um, and that's a range of forklifts from uh, three tonne through to 37 tonne machines and our, our main frontline machines. So these are land-based um, frontline machines. The other thing uh, we've done in the last month is taken a decision to um, invest in our deck equipment um, in the NT initially, um, and that is uh, four units uh, followed by another four units, which are essentially 2.8 to three ton lift machines, um, loader style machines, uh, which we're feeding in um, as our deck machinery. Now they'll be prepared properly for sea, um, and they will feed in and, and uh, replace a lot of the ageing fleet that we have there. Um, importantly, this year um, and, and next month in particular marks the 30 year anniversary of, of C Swift being in business in Cairns. Um, we did start a little before that 
uh, period um, up in Corumba initially, but uh, the move to Cairns occurred in 1987. So that's when the uh, anniversary dates struck for C-SWIFT. Um, so you'll see a bit of um, info roll out about that and, and we'll engage with our key clients and, and others to to make sure we celebrate that uh, here in Cairns as well as up in the Torres Strait and then over in Darwin. Um, so there'll be a fair bit of activity that occurs there. Uh, so that's that's my five minutes, I guess. So um, I'll sign off now. Um, please make sure if you're an employee watching this, stay safe. Uh, make sure if there's something happening that you don't um, that you don't like, or you don't feel right about, um, you're free to pull up um, and pull others up as well to make sure that we all get home safe and sound at the end of the day. If you're a customer, uh, please understand that um, that we are committed to the region. Uh, more generally and um, and we'll be doing everything we can to continue to improve our service over coming years. Thank you very much. Bye.